IRP! We are back at IRP, this time in the late models for a nice little short 35 lap race with no cautions. <clears throat> I'm car number two, starting in fourth. Uh, I'm not sure how to get into the speeds the top guys are running. 23 2 is the best I can manage, was a 23 4 9. So we'll see how that all works out. Top side is preferred here. Um, it can be hard to make passes, I feel like, especially with this car. Not much power to get off the corner. So we're just going to try and do our best up here, starting on the outside at least. We'll see how it works out. Hopefully we can keep the tires on it. It's very, very tight um, in the corners and exiting. So we're going to have to see if we can avoid punishing the right front too badly. Get ready. <clears throat> Not a long race, but you can still get some fo tire fall off. All right, man. And racing here at night, the interior lighting of this car is very messed up. So that's going to be flashing the entire time. Coming to the green here, though. Three's off and going. So we will go. Green, green, green. See how lap traffic ends up working out. Inside. Oh, Stay big push high. through the middle There's there. The the low Cold tires are pretty loose. Stay high. There's the car on the low side. In practice, it seemed like you didn't want to be all the way up to the wall, but run that middle line, the two leaders there are kind of running. Clear low, clear low. You're in third place. Now that we've got around the seven, it might be very difficult for him to get back around us with how strong the top side is. We'll see, though. He's going to be trying to run smooth laps here. Here at a very fun short track, IRP truck race they had seemed to be pretty good I think from what I heard I didn't get to watch much of it if any kind of get a nice turn down through the middle of the corner and get a pretty good run as well seems to be working okay see if we can catch up to these two but not sure I got speed for them Entering turn one and two way higher than everybody else. I need to maybe enter a little bit lower, but we did get a better run than the seven did there. Just need to follow these guys up ahead of me. They're entering deep through the middle line and then sliding up towards the wall, kind of diamonding the corner. About like that. Get a decent run off the corner. Pulling away from the seven just a bit. Okay, see if the one can ever get a run to get to the inside or the outside of the three. It's going to be so tough to make a pass, even if you catch somebody. In practice, I was much faster than a lot of the people in my session, and even once I caught him, once I got to his inside, I just couldn't get the pass done. It gets so tight off the bottom, almost just put it in the wall there. I think the seven behind me did. You just not push into the wall, but we're getting a pretty decent run. We're getting a gap behind us. The uh, four is looking to the inside of the seven, I think, a couple times. The one's looking to make a move here. Trying to, pointing his nose that way anyway. I'm running really low off the corners. I don't think that's very good. But we will see. As long as I can full throttle it off the corner without pushing into the wall, I'm happy. Number one entering a little bit higher, see if he can get a turn down underneath the three. Point six back to the seven. It's been that way for a few laps now two ahead of me are kind of starting to break away. We're all just kind of stuck here right now. There, I'm a little bit higher than I have been. See how this works for the run off the corner. Worked pretty well.
7 is just driving it in so deep. We nearly put it in the wall again. We got to make sure we don't hit the wall. That'll kill us. Definitely get past if we do that. Turn 1 and 2 feels better with the turn down line, but it gets really tight out of 4. So I need to watch that. Point seven back to the seven now. I think we just keep our stuff together and be as consistent as possible. I think we'll be able to stay ahead and at least get top three here. But we gotta go the whole distance without messing up. We'll see if we can do it. See if the one has anything for the three. Lap traffic will be getting involved soon. I wonder if they're gonna stay high into the preferred lane or if they're gonna know to go low and let the leaders go by on the top we'll have to see that could shake up the lead I think the one is trying to figure out how to get around them before they catch lap traffic still nine seconds before the first guy haven't seen any sideways cars or anything seems like it's been a really clean race already or so far so that's cool to see. I was going to run open series in this because Daniel sent a setup. But and then he ran several times in open and he just kept getting wrecked out. And then the session I saw that was getting ready to go off only had like two people signed up. So I figured I'd just run fixed, make sure I got an official session. And the races seem to be pretty good in this series which is cool. Always happy about that. I ran this full season a couple of seasons ago, maybe last season, I can't remember. And it was super fun. These are very cool cars and you can get good races with them in the fixed series too. Helps that there's no cautions in this series. Seven is still ahead of the four. The four is getting challenged by the five back there it looks like. So that's interesting. Up to a second back on the 7 now. He's about half a second ahead of the 4 car. And the 5 is right behind the 4, almost to his inside by the looks of it. And it's still 3 and 1 in 1st and 2nd. But the 1 car has not left the 3's bumper at all. I think the 1 is faster, but it's just so hard to get a pass done here. He doesn't want to go to his inside and risk hurting his tires and getting a terrible run on exit, letting me catch him. Which, I don't know, he's pretty far ahead of me now. He probably wouldn't lose that much. But, just trying to get a turn down off the corner and get a better run, but the run the three's getting is just about as good every time. Making it very difficult for the one car see if there's any contact, any bumper, move them out of the way or something. Seems very clean up to this point. Seven starting to fall back a little bit, it looks like. Four and the five are catching up to him. I'm going to be right here in position in case the one and the three end up tangling or something. But a second and a half back even if they do make a little bit of contact and keep going I doubt we could pass them it had to be pretty significant first lap car coming up about a straight away apart now oh and the one gets into the back of the three right there that got him very loose nearly spun the three and we caught him by about a second sounds like the one didn't mean to do that The one backs off, make sure he gets the position back. And the three keeps it going. And the eight car. Getting closer as the first lap car. I thought the 12 was 
the first lap car, but it turns out it's the eight now. Something might, might have happened. Another one going to the bottom line on entry. Let's see if that works to get a run. I don't think it did. I nearly put it in the wall again. So the one did make some contact with the three, but I'm, I don't think he meant to do it. He backed off and made sure the three kept the lead. Just got the three a little bit loose. Now the one's trying to catch back up and see if he can get a run to his inside. He has not been able to close the gap again, though. Quite yet, at least. Car's still feeling good. If I make sure I don't get on throttle too soon in the middle of the corner, it doesn't push that bad. Which is good. Be very interesting to see what the lap cars do. do. Once we catch them. Not many laps left, though. It may only catch up to the 8, if the 8, even. Four seconds ahead. Fields not too far off from each other, it seems like. This is a fixed setup. I'm very glad I got around the 7 at the start there, though. Starting on the outside really paid off. I feel like if the 7 had started on my outside, if I qualified 3rd instead of 4th, he would have still been in front of us and I'd have just been stuck behind him, unable to get the pass done this whole time. And just burned up my tires trying to get on his inside, but... Once we got around him, we were faster and just pulled away. <coughs> and they have a little bit of a three-car battle back there now. They're kind of single file still. About equal distance from each other, two tenths. Haven't missed with the brake bias at all. It's, I think it's default at 60 for this combo. I don't really feel like... It's tight enough on entry for me to really m change it, modify it. I think I can go down 10% maybe on this car. I can't remember. 5 or 10. Might be 3, like the Arca car, but I feel like Arca is one of the only ones that's 3% in either direction. I nearly put it in the wall again. Let's see where the 8 car goes. I'm going to be coming to five to go once we cross the line. I want to take a look at the tires once this race is over. Oh, big push right there out of nowhere. I think the three might have caught the wall. Five to go now. That big push cost me a tenth or two on the seven. Just need to wait on throttle. We just got to do smooth laps. Five laps left. He's not going to catch us in that time, even if we are falling off. As long as we do our laps. The eight's going to come into play right at the very end here. They're going to catch him on the exit of four. It's getting gets very tight there for him. The eight pulls out of the way to the bottom. That's good. Good job to him. Hopefully he stays out of our way as well. Thinking about how the leaders are going to get around him. I completely forgot that I need to get around him as well. And, of course, he stays right in my way. Perfect. Lap down. Two <laughs> left to go. Oh my goodness, why? Got one outside. Still there? Hold your line. White flag. One more left. At least we're right at the They're end. This would really clear. annoy me if we caught him with like ten Still laps there. to go. Still there. So stupid. Still there. He got out of the way of the leaders, but once I catch him, just nope. Sit in the preferred line. Don't let Stay me go. Low. But we had a gap. 
You're clear high. Clear high. No issues. That was really dumb, though. Good race, good win. Checkered flag this time by. Clean, third place finish. I'll take it. There you go, right. man. Good job. Driver. About where we were supposed to finish. I just didn't have speed for the one car, the three. I don't know what the eight's doing. He's driving through the grass now. Anyway, clean race all around. That was really good. Fixed series, late models, great series. Always enjoy running these, typically, if you don't look at my Five Flags video <laughs> from a couple weeks ago. Now the eight's going to self-spin on the entry in the first corner, I think. Maybe he was more than one lap down. Ten cars are going to grab the wall. I think this is just going to be a bunch of wall hits the rest of the time. Twelve pushes into the center and grabs the wall. Five very shallow on entry and through the middle. That's going to push him into the wall down the straightaway. Eight grabbing the wall in the center of the corner. Five into the wall. Twelve into the wall. Take a look at the tires. 80, 83. So definitely tight, but not that bad, honestly. Eight's grabbing the wall pretty hard there, overdriving. 12, some net code. Net code again. That's not net code. That was an actual hit. That was an actual hit as well. Just people overdrive and entry and exit. We came away with a clean race, not even a 0x for wall tap. So I'm happy with that. That doesn't happen to me very often. Not even hit the wall. One's getting the wall on the entry to three. Nine just plowing the wall. Not slowing down at all for the corner here. And that's later. I want to see when uh, the, the one got into the back of the three a little bit. It wasn't even hard enough contact to show up. But it was a little bit significant. If we can find it. It was in turn four, I think. Right there. Uh, the one just got a better run through the center, just tapped in the left rear, but the three's able to catch it, and the one backs off and lets him have it, so good racing by, between those two the whole time. And then they catch the wall there. I thought the three caught the wall at one point. And now the nine is going to get the wall. His right front's hurting. Four car back here. That's nothing. Very, very clean race. That's really cool to see from a uh, fixed open series here. Not open, fixed series, 12 cars, no cautions. Very fun, very fun late models. Very fun track, IRP. So looking forward to next week. Um, I'm going to run the Indy car next week. I didn't run it this week because it was at Indy Oval. And I just ran Indy cars at Indy Oval like just a few weeks ago. So, but I'm gonna run Indy car next week, and it should be pretty fun. I think it's maybe Ken no, it's not Kentucky. Can't remember what it is, Kansas or something. But Gateway is later in the season, which I'm really looking forward to in that car. So cool.